Hello, my name is Alex Sasoyev and this video is part of the training provided to my Web2O Wealth Unleashed customers as well as my subscribers and my blog readers. And in this specific video I want to cover how to install a clean archives plugins and the reason you would want to do that is if your blog is getting uh, older than several months old and you have a lots of posts per month what you get is your archives pages get uh, quite clustered and um, you have uh, lots of information which is hard to access and as such it is hard to direct your uh, visitors to appropriate page. So what I'm going to do is show you how to install one great plugin I have personally found and that plugin will allow us to create a new archive structure that is uh, completely different from default provided by the WordPress and it has some really nice and neat features and let me show you exactly what it looks like on my blog. As you can see this is a new archives page I have created and I have a link to that page in my pages menu but the neat feature about this specific plugin you can expand all month and uh, by default when you open this page it will open just your uh, current month archives and you have an option to configure to show a number of comments to that specific post and uh, or you can disable them and there are a few other features. You can uh, expand all month and the visitor will have a complete overview of all the articles published on your blog. You can return to the collapsed view and here's the best part about this one is uh, you can expand any specific month by simply clicking on the name of the month and navigate to the specific page or you can go into the detailed monthly archive which basically sends you to the default archives page uh, which presented of your excerpts of the uh, specific blog post and people can navigate it this way. As you can see this is a very flexible plugin that will help you to draw the visitors deeper into your blog and uh, help them to enjoy the information you have to share and also you don't have to repeat yourself and you can present a nice and clean view which is also a dynamic uh, generation and uh, it presents a very nice view. So without wasting much time let me explain how we're going to install this uh, very nice plugin. The plugin we're going to install is called SRG Clean Archives and it's available at geekwizlaptop.com. I provide the link right below this specific video and uh, you, he provides you the demo of the archive and this is the latest development and we're going to use the 4.2 version which have been tested uh, for the WordPress versions 2.1 through the 2.3 plus and it is successfully working on the latest version of the WordPress I have installed. So what you have to do is download the Clean Archives plugin, save it to your disk. I have it already saved. Then unzip it on your uh, local drive. And what you will see is once you unzip it, you will have SRG underscore clean underscore archives. This is a folder you will need to upload into your plugins folder. And let me show you how we're going to do that. I'm using a FileZilla FTP client which is free and awesome uh, Windows software that you can use to transfer the files uh, via FTP without using a bandwidth on your uh, host server. And uh, connecting uh, via FileZilla is extremely simple. You simply provide your domain name, your username, your password and then quick connect or you can preset it as a site. Then you navigate. Uh, this panel is your local folders and this is your remote folders. Simply navigate to the clean archives which on my, in my case is on desktop within the clean archives and you will find this SRG underscore clean underscore archives folder and here I navigate into my blog folder which is uh, my domain name then inside WP-content and inside the plugins. So what we need to do is we need to upload Sorry, I'm just canceling because I already I already have that plugin installed, so I'm not going to upload it. But you simply upload it inside your plugins folder, and in my case, it would have had overwritten, which wouldn't be no big deal. Uh, but once you upload this specific plugin, you need to log in into your blog admin interface. Once you have logged in into your blog admin interface, navigate inside your plugins, and let me show you. It's a, with an admins plugins. Then scroll down to the until you locate your newly installed plugin, which is SRG Clean Archives, and simply click Activate. As you can see, it's already activated on my blog. And once you have activated, you have an option 
to edit its options. Oops, sorry, I went into the wrong place. Simply go into the plugins, and here's your SRG Clean Archives options. Sometimes they spread them out, and here you have options to actually uh, how to actually determine how the uh, archive pages will be presented. For example, you can show the how many monthly posts uh, within each month is available. Uh, if you want to display the comment count, as you can see right here, it shows how many comments have been made. If you have a password protected pages, you can choose uh, not to display them. And uh, Moon.FX effects, that's uh, one that allows you to dynamically expand them. So you can enable them. And also provide you with links to the detailed monthly archives. Simply update the options. And next step we need to do is we need to actually create the archives page. In order to do that, we simply click on Write. Then we're going to write page. And there are a couple important aspects I need to share with you. First of all, is within this SRG Clean Archives, you have a README file. And it provides you with installation <coughs> code you need to insert within this page. Simply scroll down until you locate this code, highlight it, choose copy. Then go back into your um, WordPress admin interface, write page, name this page archive or whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to show this test for right now. Um, I recommend you call it archive or monthly archives, whatever you choose to do. And then important portion right here is under page templates, make sure you choose your default template. And the second portion, make sure you paste the code using the code view. Simply paste and then publish the page. Obviously I'm not going to publish this one because I already have the page. So instead I'm going to go back into the dashboard and once you publish it you will have a page uh, like this. Obviously I named my page archives and this is where it's all presented. And once you complete this specific installation configuration and pasting of the code you will have exactly the same page and it will be a nice feature presented to your visitors and hopefully you will get more hits on your previously written articles and put those articles to the good use. This presentation have been uh, done by Alex Sosoyev and it's uh, for my readers as well as my customers. Thank you for watching.